करप्शन इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर हेल्थ जेंडर एनवायरमेंट डेवलप कॉन्फ्लिक्ट Traditionally, Nagaland had a vast reservoir of invaluable flora and fauna. But in the past few decades, rampant practice of tomb cultivation, deforestation, hunting, and random forest fires have led to gradual deterioration of these natural reserves. Such crisis not only affects the ecosystem, but it also has spiritual and cultural ramification on the indigenous habitants. Mount Tee, the highest peak in the district of Okha, is one such example. This mountain is also called Mountain of Life for being the major source of spring water for the whole town. In ancient times, Mount Tee was considered as the passage to the abode of the dead. And so in the past, the mountain was covered with thick trees and rhododendron flowers. So people were advised against plucking any rhododendron flower on that mountain or against randomly destroying anything on that mountain. And therefore, people composed beautiful songs and meaningful poems in praise of the nature that surrounded the mountain. The once beautiful mountain which used to be an inspiration for writing songs and poems for its rich flora and fauna now stands as a barren ordinary mountain. Wild animals like tigers have become extinct because of hunting and disappearance of forests. Today we could hardly see any tiny birds. Forest fires have also become an annual ritual in the mountain. These forest fires and felling of trees have adversely altered the landscape of the mountain. As a community, it is our duty to protect the environment surrounding us. It is imperative to maintain the ecosystem. So let us all take a pledge to avoid doing such practices that could have enormous negative impacts on our environment and our culture at large. With India and Heart, Renjan from Wokha, Nagaland.